I'm going to go back to this uh, two inch scenery brush, even though it's got blue on it. Blue is the complement to orange, like I told you, and that will uh, gray my oranges down somewhat. So I'm just going to wipe this off. I'm going to take a little bit of white, a little bit of the sienna, maybe a tad of the yellow. And I just want something for sandy color up here in the foreground. Now it makes sense to switch back to a bigger brush rather than try to use this little fan brush to cover all that foreground. That's why I like these big brushes. You can get right in and go for it. A lot of people don't think of these as being necessarily art brushes, but they are. It depends on the context in which you use them. I'm going to take some purple and sienna just to change the flavor. Make this a little more interesting. Art isn't always about being absolutely literal. A lot of times I play with color just to make it more interesting one way or another. Okay, so far there's our desert. Now you'll see uh, in the southwest they have what they call buttes. Isn't that a butte? <laughs> Is my standard joke. But I'm going to take some uh, sienna, some of this purplish mixture I just used. I want this to be a little more faint. This is my number six round brush. I'm going to put a butte way off in the distance here. My plan is to put a bigger one, more defined here. I want this one to be a little lighter than the one I'm going to put in the foreground so it's far away. And these are just these really strange looking rock formations that creep up out of the ground that kind of look like this. Very unique. It kind of makes you wonder how they got there. I guess it's something to do with the glaciers going through and carving out, or the river, I guess. At one time, way back a million years ago, but they're very unique. I'm just going to soften the bottom of that. I'm not going to worry about too much for highlighting and all that, because I want it to look far away. See, this area looks very far away, as opposed to what I'm going to do next. Now, there's a couple ways to approach this. If I don't think this is going to stay dark enough for me, I think it could, I think it will, but if I'm not sure of it, I can take my wipe off tool and I can actually remove some of the excess paint. So let's do that. Um, I'm just doing this from memory, like I said. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this really well on camera just yet. I'm just carving out a shape of one of these closer buttes just to remove some of the excess paint and it helps me kind of get this laid out on my canvas where I want it. Now that's the round pointed end where I can kind of score a line. If I use this flatter end that looks like a little squeegee, that makes it perfect for just actually removing all that excess paint out of there. And just wipe the tool off as you pick up the excess. I know you're thinking I'm losing my mind. You're going to say, that doesn't look very good. Well, give me just a minute. I promise it'll get better. Most paintings don't look all that great in the beginning stages anyway. They start out kind of abstract. And it depends on how much you want to refine it and how far you want to go with it and what they ultimately appear like. OK. I want to come back with something quite dark, so I'm going to use uh, dioxazine purple and burnt sienna. I am going to thin this down just a little bit with a couple drops of thinner, so it'll flow off my brush a little easier. Actually, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of Van Dyke brown I've got right here, too. I kind of forgot that I was going to put that on my palette, but I've got it right here, so no harm done. I want to get something a little darker. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Checking the value. Value just means how light or dark a color is. And any painting you do is just a constant battle between light and dark, and hard edges and soft edges. If you strip painting down to the bare essentials, that's what it amounts to. Hard edges, soft edges, lights and darks, and cool and warm temperatures. See the sky, and this is blue, it's a very cool color. All these browns are going to be, and oranges are going to be much warmer. See, by making this value darker, it brings it much closer than that distant butte. You keeping up with this? I hope so. This isn't hard at all. Um, 
Obviously, I have painted scenes like this before, <clears throat> so I can kind of do them from memory. If you're painting something like this, you're probably going to want a photograph to look at to go by. That's fine. That's how everybody starts. 